God comes in and, and he comes and, and you're wondering, you know, you're, you're sitting there and God says, you know what? He says, he, he says, you know what? I'm going to put you through this trial. And you go through a trial and, and, and you're sitting there and you're waiting for your opportunity. And then says, God, God says, get up. And, and you get up and, 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 and you know what he does is he moves you. He moves you and he says, you know what? I'm sorry. You're too close to the destiny. You're too close to fulfilling the promise. You're too close to, 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 to fulfilling everything that I've told you. And, and you're sitting there and you're waiting for your turn. And then God says, get up. And you get up and you think it's your turn. And then he says, go back. And now I'm sitting behind where I used to be up here, but now I'm right here. And now I feel further away from my destiny. And I'm sitting there and I'm waiting and there's something in front of me and there's something behind me and I'm waiting. And then God says, get up. And you get up and you think you're going to go to the front and then you end up and, and you're sitting in the back. And now all of a sudden you're sitting in the back row and I have no proof that one day I'm going to be great. I have no proof that one day I'm going to be amazing. But I still sit here in faith because I believe in the word that God gave me. And as I sit in the back and I wait. So I sit in the back and I wait. And I wait for that special word. There's a word that God always gives me. See, there's that special word. And now I feel like I'm in the last row. And now I feel like I'm behind everybody else. And then God yells that special word. And he yells switch. And everybody has to switch. Everybody has to turn around. Everybody has. And, and now because I was at the end of the line. And God yells switch. Now I'm at the front of the line. And now I got proof. And now I got a testimony. And now I got a way to show you that I ain't last. I am first. Because I kept faith in the word that God gave me. That one day the proof would be behind me for the things that God has promised me. I know. Bishop, come to the piano. I'm done. What row are you in? Are you, are you in the back row? Are you, do you feel like you've been taking steps backwards instead of steps forward? Do you feel like you haven't been able to fulfill the promise that God has given you? Today, my word for you today is have faith in the word that God has given you. Because the proof is going to come on a day that you least expect it. The proof is going to come. That moment that Joseph's family comes and kneels down before him is finally the day that he has proof. Let's go back to Romans 4.21. And being fully convinced that what he had promised, he was also able to perform. I am clay in the master's hands. And sometimes he takes bits and pieces from me and I don't like it. And sometimes he adds pieces to me and I'm not like that. I don't like that and I, I don't want that. But in the end, he is making something beautiful. He is making something amazing. He is taking my life and all I have to do is say, here I am, Lord. Here I am. Proof of your destiny will only come at the end of your life. Every day that you are alive, you will be working towards the goal that God has put in your heart. And if you hold on. If you hold on, one day a witness is going to stand in front of you as you lay to rest. And they're going to give examples of your life. And each example is proof that God is true to his word. I remember when God told her she was going to be a recording artist. Now here's the CD. I remember when God told him he was going to lead a nation. Now we're going to listen to him preach at the convention center. I remember when God told her she was going to be an author of a book and now we're going to the signing. I remember when God told him that he would be healed from the crown of his head to the soles of his feet. Now we're going to listen to the testimony. But the proof only comes.
disciples at the end. Every day we are fighting and every day we are struggling to prove, I don't know, to ourselves, to prove to our family, to prove to our friends that God is going to do something amazing. I, I finally gave up on, on expressing it. I finally gave up. You know, I used to tell everybody all the time, don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. Don't give up on me. You know, stay with me. Stay by me. and Stay stay lifting my arms up. Stay, stay. You know what? But I can't say that anymore. I'm tired of saying it because they can only prove to me at the end. When the end comes and they're still standing there, I'll say, that's the proof. You know, last week, uh, uh, a couple comes up to me and they said, you know what? They said, don't worry about us loving you because we love you. And I said, prove it. Prove it. You can only prove it at the end. Because you might not want to say that yet because you might end up in that category where they say, see that? They used to love me. You see him, he used to love me. You see her, she used to love me. But they don't love me no more. But prove it that in the end, when the final hour comes and the final battle is ready to be fought and the final situation of my life is there and you gather around my bed or you gather around in the hospital or you gather around my casket or you gather around my headstone, that's the proof not only, not only of what God is doing in my life but also what God is doing yours stay faithful hold on let your faith grow talk yourself into it do you believe that God is able to do what he said he would do do you believe that God is able to make you into millionaires do you believe that God is able to fix uh, your sickness do you believe that God can heal your marriage? Do you believe that God can touch your children? Do you believe that God can put you in a new tax bracket or a new vehicle or a new situation? I believe it! And one day I'm going to drive by and prove it to you. One day I'm going to stand here and prove it to you. One day I'm going to be here and prove it to you. But that won't be say about any one of us let them say this that you stayed faithful even when there was no proof <laughs> you stayed faithful even when there was no proof everything says we're going to fail except God everything says we're not going to make it except God Everything says that this is it except for God. Everybody says this is the end. Everybody says our best days were behind us. Everybody says we're not going to make it to the mountaintop except for God. And I want to walk there with you. I want to be there with you. I want to help hold your hand and say we did it. We proved it. We proved every hater wrong, every naysayer, every devil, every demon, every 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 lie, every hurtful word, every time they, they said something and they shot an arrow at your heart and you bled, but we proved it, we stood faithful, we hung on to the very end, and here we are. My God. That's what makes you so amazing. And here I'm going to close with this. You know what makes you so different today? You know why you're here today? like that. 
David. Remember when David fell? We read about David and David fell. And, and, and then God came and restored him. And, and remember when Elijah ran away from Jezebel because he was afraid. And then God restored him. Remember when Peter, when Peter knocked on Jesus and then Jesus came and, 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 and restored him. What about you? What's it going to say about you? Let it say one thing. Let the, big, the, let the book of Victor say one thing. Let the book of Victor chapter 1 verse 1 say one thing. If, if I only get a sentence in that book, if I only get just, just a small notification, if you give me a small corner at the end, if you just give me a small piece, you don't even have to highlight it. But if the book of Victor chapter 1 verse 1 can say one thing, that he kept the faith until there was proof. That's all I want. That you kept the faith until there was proof. Let's let's end it with a song. I don't I don't have the words today. I know we're all going through something, and it'll always be something. It will always be something. The moment you get your daughter right, your son's going to mess up. The moment you get your son right, your daughter's going to mess up. The moment you get your marriage right, your money's going to mess up. The moment you get your money right, your marriage is going to mess up. The moment you get the car you want, the tire's going to go flat. The moment you get the house you want, the grass is going to die. The moment you get the grass you want, the roof's going to leak. The moment the roof leaks... Stand to your feet and sing this song with me.